There are a few stipulations that might require you to return your third stimulus check. According to the IRS, people in the US who were not considered to be who were considered to be non-resident aliens in 2021 are not eligible for this third check. And the IRS could have potentially mailed the third stimulus payments to people that were not supposed to receive one. The IRS has stated if you qualified for a third payment based on your 2019 or 2020 tax return, the law doesn't require you to pay back all or part of the payment that you receive based on the information reported on your tax return. And the Delaware Department of Finance will issue a one-time payment of $300 to individuals who have already filed their 2020 Delaware resident personal income taxes by the due date. This payment will be made to each taxpayer, including those who jointly filed, and taxpayers do not have to take additional action to receive the $300 check. The state of Delaware is working hard to issue the $300 one-time rebate checks to qualifying taxpayers by the end of May 2022. And folks, here's some big news on the stimulus checks. Inflation relief checks have been approved by top lawmakers. This new round of stimulus payments will be worth billions of dollars in crisis relief funds. The Biden administration has agreed to allocate more money towards the next stimulus package, so watch until the end to find out if you can receive this. The national average gas price for regular gas is at nearly $4.42 per gallon. This is well above the this is well over $1 more than this time last year. In spite of the market volatility and climbing prices, in a statement to CBS News, the Department of the Interior said that there was a lack of industry interest in this in leasing in the area. And Senate Republican Tom Cotton said that gas prices are at a record high, and Biden just canceled oil and gas leases in Alaska and the Gulf. The decision may drive gas prices even higher, but a number of other factors, including including increased demand sparked by the upcoming Memorial Day holiday weekend, may also play a role. For now, everybody, the best course of action for U.S. drivers is to use an app to shop around for lower prices. Lower prices of gas, that is. And after missing multiple self-imposed deadlines, Nat Gavin Newsom and legislative leaders remain at odds over how to offer relief for California's high gas prices. Selecting a state agency to oversee the program is the latest point of contention, a decision that could determine how quickly people receive rebates. The governor has warned against a legislative plan to leave the process to the state franchise tax board. The agency that distributed state-issued Christ relief checks. Instead, he has proposed hiring a third-party vendor to work with the California DMV in providing debit card payments to car owners. And with annual tax refund checks they distribute and even some crisis relief payments still unsettled, the governor said relying on the Franchise Tax Board could delay new, re could delay new cash rebates until at least this fall. At least 73,000 Californians were still waiting for checks totaling more than $50 million to alleviate the economic burden of the crisis. And more than 20,000 of those checks were part of the state's first round of crisis relief and should have arrived late last year. And to cope with rising inflation, legislative leaders unveiled a plan in mid-March to send at least $200 to taxpayers with joint tax returns, showing an adjusted, gain, showing an adjusted income of less than $250,000 regardless of whether they own a car. I haven't quit yet. And it's because I know you're not the quitting type at all. And, um, and I do truly believe that the work that all of you do is an extraordinary gift that you have and that you give. And so it was very important to me and to the president that we would be here today to say thank you to all of you. Thank you. Um, and Monique, thank you for sharing your story and for the 16 years of dedicated service you have provided. So um, before I begin um, talking a bit more about um, the issue of the importance of mental health, I do want to start by providing an update about the infant formula shortage. Um, the first military plane landed yesterday with more than 70,000 pounds of specialty formula, and the second will arrive later this week. Uh, I know this is a scary situation for our parents and the caregivers who are taking care of these babies. Um, our administration is working around the clock to ensure that there is enough safe baby formula available for all who need it. 